Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. In today's video I'll be sharing with you some sexy fragrances but with a catch because I'll be showing you how to combine two perfumes to create an intoxicating, absolutely irresistible and unique scent. If you want a more in-depth tutorial as to how to layer fragrances, I've done a full video on that already which you can click over here or in the description box down below. Now the perfumes that I have today, some are more masculine, others are more feminine, unisex, you name it. There's a combination for everyone. And you may have some of these fragrances already within your perfume collection, so just have fun with your fragrances, experiment. And with that, let's get straight into combination number one. This first layering combo is one where you'll be smelling like a delicious snack. It is mixing Baccarat Rouge by Maison Francis Curgent and Bois Doré by Van Cleef and Arpel. You probably already know what Baccarat Rouge smells like, but in case you want a full in-depth review, I will link it down below. Anyways, for those of you who haven't tried it yet, Baccarat Rouge is a sweet smelling perfume that kind of has the effect of the sugar coating of candy apples, so that like caramelized sugar, almost candy floss like as well. So it is sweet, it's intoxicating, it is an insanely long lasting fragrance. And what's great with Baccarat Rouge is that it will boost the longevity of your perfumes. Now, what about Bois Doré? So Bois Doré smells to me personally like a delicious creamy vanilla frosting. So it's an ultra creamy scent that is very well made and it's not too sweet. Now these two together are simply irresistible. It kind of reminds me of being at a carnival and being specifically at the candy stand. You have some gummies, some tangy fruity sweets, but also those like creamier caramel toffee like bonbons. And what I like about this combination is that it isn't sticky sweet or syrupy. It's just gonna give you that right level of sweetness that will definitely hit the spot. Now in terms of how to layer them, I would recommend spraying Bois Doré first, so one or two sprays to test it out first on your skin, and then apply Baccarat Rouge and in the same ratio, so one or two sprays, and you will smell really, really good. Now, gentlemen, this combination is for you, but ladies as well, I think you could try this one out if you're into boozy, incense sweeter fragrances. It, this combo is insane. It is with Jazz Club by Maison Margiela and Encensoive by Matière Première. So Jazz Club by Maison Margiela is this really addictive, boozy, tobacco, vanilla kind of a fragrance. And it's a great scent for you gentlemen if you're into fragrances like the one Eau de Parfum by Dolce & Gabbana. I recommend you check out Jazz Club because it's really fantastic. And also Suave, on the other hand, is an incense dominant perfume. Even if you don't like incense fragrances, I still recommend you try Anson Suave because it is a magnificent scent. So the incense note is pretty dominant, I'll have to say, and it kind of gives me like an old church vibe, like this dry wood, some smokiness, it's a little bit musty, but actually it gets transformed by all the other ingredients within the fragrance, such as coffee, there's some vanilla, some benzoin, so warmer notes just make it incredible. The two together, pure magic. It is a mysterious, multifaceted, boozy, tobacco incense scent. And I almost get like a caramel-like note. So that like sweetness reminds me of like a really smooth, light caramel note. And the way I would layer it is start off with Ensemble Suave and then add Jazz Club on top. A rose to oud combo with oud for greatness and atomic rose both by Enesio Parfum Privé. Now, Oud for Greatness, I've talked so much on my channel. It is such an incredible, intoxicating, magnetizing and bold Oud scent that is more on the dry side and is complemented with some spices like nutmeg and saffron. It's a little bit sweet, incredibly attractive, especially on a man. And then we have Atomic Rose, which is a sexy rose that is, I would say, the older, kinkier sister of Delina by Parfum de Marly. She is a little bit sweet, 
and also very attractive. Now, the way that I would mix these two perfumes is I wouldn't spray them together directly. That combination doesn't really smell that great and just doesn't work, at least on my skin. So I would recommend spraying these two perfumes on different parts of your body. For example, I like to spray Oud for Greatness in my hair and then follow up with Atomic Rose on my neck. Now, the amount of sprays really depends on your preference. If you want something that is more rosy, spray more Atomic Rose. If you want something that is more oud and spicy, go ahead with Oud for Greatness. There's really no rules, except just don't mix the two directly together. If you like your loud perfumes and your rose and oud combos, you'll probably enjoy the mixture of these two. Okay, this next combination is for vanilla lovers. And I actually already talked about it in my winter perfumes for women. It is a combination between Material by Amouage and Santal Austral by Matière Première. This is incredible. And again, vanilla lovers, if you love vanilla, but you wanna like kind of take it up a notch, this is what you need to be doing is mixing these two. So Material is a beautifully rich, buttery, resinous vanilla. There is some incense, so it's lightly smoky as well in the back, more of a sensual vanilla that really focuses on the warm, diffusive facets of the ingredient. Now, what about Santal Austral? I have a little 6ml sample here, which I'm very much using up. So Santal Austral is a gorgeous, luminous sandalwood scent with nuances of iris, some sweeter notes with benzoin and tonka bean. It's not gonna be overly sweet, but there is definitely a sweetness and it kind of gives me almost a almond-like milkiness. This perfume to me smells like what I would imagine fairy dust would smell like. It's fairy dust and all things magical within a perfume. The way that I like to layer these two perfumes is start off with material because it is the densest of the two perfumes and I'll just demonstrate on my hand here. So you do two sprays, so one, two, and then you layer on top Santal Austral, again, two sprays, one, two, and that is it. It smells insane. Basically, Santal Austral, I find, kind of rounds off the incense note in material, which sometimes bothers me if I overspray material. But when I do this combination, it really kind of not, I don't want to say mutes it down, but just kind of calms it, kind of chills out the incense, which I tend to prefer. I've been wearing it nonstop since the winter break. And if you are a lover of vanilla and sandalwood, then definitely try out this combo. It is really a winner. Now, ladies, if you're looking for a dream floral amber combination and you love fragrances like Rouge Malakite or Vert Malakite by Armani Privé, this next combo is for you. I like to mix Sandal Ruby as well as Gold Incense, both by Carolina Herrera. This is the Confidential series and it creates the most delicious smelling floral amber scent. Now, Sandal Ruby, I've talked about a little bit on this channel. It's quite a strong scent, and it basically features a prominent note of tuberose mixed with a big dose of spices with cinnamon, pepper, and cardamom. Overall, this scent is so intoxicating, mega sexy, and a fantastic amber floral. But if you wanna amp things up, you can mix in gold incense. And gold incense is another incense perfume that I wouldn't shy away from because as I said, I'm not into incense fragrances and I really adore this. I would say it's more of a gourmand sweet incense, more of a vanilla dominant kind of incense fragrance. Because to me, the incense is there, but it's powdery and dry and really, the main note that I detect in here is vanilla. So lovely vanilla sweetness. It's so elegant and classy, very luxurious as well. When you mix these two fragrances together, you're gonna get creamy florals mixed with spices, vanilla, and funny enough, a lovely delicious note of chocolate. It's not too prominent, but it's just there, kind of lingering, and that I find is what makes this perfume so intoxicating and addictive. And this is for sure something that I'd like to wear if I'm going out in the evenings for a nice dinner, meeting with friends, or going on a date with my husband. These two perfumes just do the trick. 
If you want to smell like pure class and ultra luxurious, I'd recommend mixing Ombre Nuit by Dior and Oud by Roja. Now Oud by Roja is a rose to Oud number and it is so majestic. This perfume is a very special scent in my opinion. I mean, it is quite pricey. But other than that, it's elegance and class personified with just the right amount of lavishness and richness. Now, what about Ombre Nuit? So Ombre Nuit is a really fresh, airy, amber rose fragrance. So you're gonna find rose in this scent as well, but very different to in Aoud. But what I find is that when you have a common ingredient, the fragrance layering is much easier. What I like is to spray on different body parts, kind of similar to Atomic Rose and Oud for Greatness. This combination works better that way as well. Aoud on its own is quite heavy and I love that, but sometimes I want a little bit more lightness and freshness let's say maybe a twinkle or sparkle, which is what Ombre Nuit gives when I mix the two together. I imagine this layering combo to go very well, say if you're casually going to the opera wearing a gown because everyone does that. You know what I mean, like a really dressed up occasion, perhaps black tie event, something like that that is very elegant, then I would recommend you try these two fragrances together. This next combo I already shared on my channel, I would say almost like a year ago, but let me share it with you again because it is worth discovering, trust me. It is Rouge Malakite by Armani Privé and Rehab by Initio Parfum. Kind of an odd combination. I accidentally discovered it when I was wearing Rouge Malakite and then I spilt a sample of Rehab on me. I just smelled really good and so yeah, that's how the layering got born between these two perfumes. So Rouge Malakite, if you don't know this fragrance, it is a really beautiful, intoxicating, creamy white floral and turn into this beautiful, balmy, amber white floral because you also have some benzoin and vanilla and it's just a stunning stunning perfume then rehab on the other side is a very spicy scent so it's kind of like autumn or winter in a bottle you have some woods it's spicy for me this reminds me almost a bit of like spicy pencil shavings with a bit of freshness and lots of vanilla. And the way that I layer these two fragrances is I'll start with Rehab and I'll do a spray of Rehab and then I'll do a spray of Rouge Malakite on top. You can do however many sprays you want, but the ratio is one to one and it's just a great combination, especially for the colder months, so autumn and winter time. You can wear this during the day, during the night. It kind of is pretty a versatile combo. So if you're a white floral lover, specifically of jasmine and tuberose, try out this combo. If you want a little bit more sweetness to it, it's really good. Uh, it is mixing Louis Kiss by Christian Boutin and Bois Doré. We're seeing this again. I initially mixed this with Baccarat Rouge at the beginning of the video, but you can also layer it with this fragrance. When you mix these two, you're going to get a white floral dream with some almondy undertones. And I mean, what more could you ask for? White florals, almonds, I mean, this combo is to die for. Back to you gentlemen with a awesome summer layering combination with Molecule 2 by Eccentric Molecules and Riviera Lazuli by Atelier Desors. Now Eccentric Molecules is another type of scent that you can easily layer with other fragrances. And I would recommend layering this perfume with your fresher citrus or aquatic scents that don't last that long, but Molecule 2 will really help boost the longevity and help tether the scent to your skin, but also your clothes. Molecule 2 contains 100% Ambroxan. You don't necessarily need to get this one. I think there is more affordable alternatives, but the important point is you need Ambroxan. So Ambroxan is a synthetic ingredient that is ambery, fresh, woodsy, a little bit salty, and it just smells amazing. So mix Molecule 2 with Riviera Lazuli by Atelier Desor. Riviera Lazuli is a citrus, woody, aromatic scent that is 
pretty much on steroids. It smells like you're walking around the Mediterranean coast on a summery afternoon. There's a light salty sea breeze. It's warm and it's just a great summery afternoon. And if you want to prolong its longevity and add a boost of freshness, but also transform it into making it a little bit sporty chic, then mix it with Molecule 2. These two perfumes together go very well, say if you wanna go on a summer date during the daytime and you want something that smells good, that will make you feel refreshed, and that is also very likable, then try out this combo. Speaking of sexy summer fragrances, ladies, you probably already know what I'm gonna be recommending. Hibiscus Palm mixed with Vanilla Vibes. I've talked about these two perfumes so much on my channel and I stand by this combination probably until the day I die. It just smells so freaking amazing. So Hibiscus Palm is a delicious, exotic floral with a main note of frangipani. It's fresh. You also have some coconut milk, some musks. You can wear it on its own in the summer, during the day, during the night. It is a stunning fragrance and the best from Erin. And then we have Vanilla Vibes, a salty vanilla that is fresh and it's not gonna be a sticky type of vanilla. To me, this reminds me of spending a day at the beach, you know, if you're like applying tanning oil with a light coconutty vanilla. Not the most natural smelling vanilla, definitely not. It's quite synthetic, but it makes it good for layering. And I actually very rarely wear this perfume on its own. I always, always layer it with hibiscus palm. As this is the last layering, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how I spray these two perfumes. There are really no rules. You can go ham on the trigger so that you can make sure everyone can smell you. So let's start off with hibiscus palm. Oh yeah. Mixed with, Juliet has a gun. Vanilla vibes, oh yeah. You're gonna smell like a summery beach goddess sent from the heavens. And that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of layering combinations you have if you'd like to layer perfumes. I would love to know. I'm always on the hunt for mixing some new perfumes. So please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.